hi y'all welcome to my little creative life in today's video i'm gonna be making a cow mask so random but i love cows they're so cute so i found this template from ultimatepapermache.com i will have the information in the description if you guys want to check it out and the first step was to print out the template and then cut out all of your pieces i used some recycled chipboard and um i printed out the template on sticker paper uh, just to make the cutout process as easy as possible. Okay, so I'm working on the eyes. This is like a little eyelid. Um, I'm just going to tape it right in there. Use these ping pong balls that I cut apart <laughs> uh, for eyes, hopefully. Um, and you can see it's coming together. I've got all my cardboard and chipboard pieces cut out, taping them together. It's coming. I, like you see the shape of it it's kind of looking like a cow but it's coming together next i used some aluminum foil and just kind of shaped them into horns and attached it unevenly i may add to the back of the head of the cow i did paper mache on the interior of the cow mask um just using some old newspaper and like i said watered down mod podge Cute. I mixed up a batch of the Ultimate Paper Mache's recipe for paper clay. Um, that's where all of this is from, like the template and the tutorial for this. So I'm on to the claying stage. I don't think this is the correct texture, but say that the cow head has been clayed i really like that paper mache clay recipe that was so much fun to work with um even though i don't think this is like the correct consistency but it was my first time and i like how it turned out so i'm gonna let this dry and then maybe go over it and either sand it or smooth it out somehow but i don't know because like cows have fur and texture so i might leave some of it I don't know. It's, it needs to dry before i really do anything before i mess it up too much but i like how it's turning out um i can't wait to paint it it's gonna be so cute i let the cow dry overnight it's still not 100 percent dry dry so i'm just uh not messing with it letting it dry i had a little bit left over to do a kind of duck shape for an undead duck uh, but yeah this is how it's turning out i just want to probably smooth it out a little bit The cow has a coat of paint. It looks kind of silly. I wish I would have sanded it and made it smoother. Um, but it is what it is. It's cute. I need to finish painting it, but I'm going to let it dry a little bit first. Lashes are better than mine. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go get my lashes done this week. But first, I'm gonna take care of our cow. And honestly, I don't, it's not the best. I'm not gonna lie. Look at it. Look at the cow. Look at the cow, guys. It is so cute. I cannot believe. Um, it's been months since there's a fly in here. Um, but I'm putting on the finishing touches. I started this cow so long ago and I really just kind of want to finish it up. Um, this is not finished finished, but it's going to be finished enough for this video. Oh, look at those lashes. Yes. Actually, I need to put um, some fabric in the eye holes. So while the lashes are drying, I'm going to touch up a few of these little black paint spots, look for sheer black fabric, and then we'll be done. 
found this just bandana um but it's got these uh, it's just black so and it's pretty thin you can see through it so i think this will be a good fabric to kind of line the interior of the mask with so hopefully you can still kind of see out but people won't be able to see in. okay so here is the cow finished up she's so cute i love it um i did a coat of sealer on it i added the fake eyelashes added some black fabric in the eye holes and like the nose holes so that you wouldn't be able to see inside because it is an actual mask in here so you can slip it on your head and uh you can see through these holes it's kind of not very great visibility um but you'll be able to kind of walk around and like not trip on something so uh yeah there's the cow she's so cute i love her um i love the lashes it was my first time doing one of these like animal mask helmet type of projects and i think it turned out pretty good i learned a lot so i can't wait to try again i have a few other templates uh from the same artist just so i can try some different animals uh but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video it was kind of random um this was just kind of my test project Thanks for hanging out and watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh super random i will have as much information about these masks and everything in the description um i really love how it turned out like i said i can't wait to move on to the next mask here is um another one that i i did <laughs> i love it so cute should I make it? Oh, I love it. I think I'm gonna make it spooky. Um, 